हाय भिवर्स दिस इज डॉक्टर गुणामणि जेना एंड यू आर वाचिंग द वीडियो सीरीज ऑन नेचर इंस्पायर्ड कंप्यूटिंग टेक्निक्स एंड इन दिस प्रोसेस टुडे विल बी गोइंग फॉर दिस कुकू सर्च ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सालगर्दिम और सीएसओ सो इन दिस सालगर्दिम दिस इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ आवर प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट इन द मेन आइडिया ऑन दिस कुकू सर्च ऑप्टिमाइजेशन देन व्हाट इज द सर्च स्कीम द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द कुकू सर्च ऑप्टिमाइजेशन द बेसिक स्टेज ऑफ दिस सीएसओ एलगर्दिम एंड ऑफ वेरियस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस सीएसओ एलगर्दिम एंड रेफरेंसेस सो बिफोर वी गो फॉर दिस कुको सर्च एलगर्दिम्स लेट अस हैव आइडिया अबाउट ह्यूरिस्टिक्स एंड मेटा ह्यूरिस्टिक सो ह्यूरिस्टिक और वी समटाइम्स कॉल इट एज द अप्रोक्सिमेट वन सो दिस ह्यूरिस्टिक एलगर्दिम्स इट एम टू फाइंड ए गुड सोल्यूशंस टू ए प्रोब्लेम इन ए रिजनेबल अमाउंट ऑफ कंप्यूटेशनल टाइम That means with the limited time, limited time we want to find a solution, but with no guarantee of goodness or efficiency. Uh, that is the exact or complete algorithms. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you see the uh, figure here, the bottom one is the mirror image of that one. So if you represent f x, it is coming. So minimum of f x you can see it here at x is equal to x star. Similarly, this opposite is the mirror image of that one. We call it the minus of f x. so this is the maximum here what is the minimum there in the reverse it is the maximum of there so x star is the maximum of minus fx this is the fx right so this is the things we try to find out already we have done a lot of exercise on this thing then coming to the meta heuristics there are roughly high level strategies that combining low level techniques for exploration and exploitations of the search space fine so in this meta heuristic it refers to a number of algorithm including evolutionary algorithm swarm intelligence in this swarm intelligence all your particle swarm optimization and and colony of all things are coming then genetic algorithm differential evolutions evolutionary programming simulated annealing and taboo search all the things it is coming under this meta heuristics right then in in specific the meta heuristics are similar to heuristics and they seek promising solutions to problems however meta heuristics are generic and they can deal with a variety of problems that is the advantages so we prefer meta heuristic over the heuristics so in the context of meta heuristics the characteristics of non measurable successes and reasonable executions remain the same as discussed for the heuristics but meta heuristics meta heuristics it replaces the problem based design principle with the problem independent design principle the previously heuristic it is problem based design principle here it is problem independent uh, irrespective of the problem we can go for this principle generally meta heuristic algorithms are designed for global optimizations okay this is the uh, idea about the, what is the heuristic and meta heuristic because it is a meta heuristic based so before we go for the cuckoo search algorithms we should have clarity i hope you got the idea about what is heuristic and what is meta heuristic now coming to the history of cuckoo search algorithm Yang and Deb he created the Cuckoo Search algorithm in 2009, so it is around 13 to 14 years old algorithm, and it was inspired by the cuckoo birds. And cuckoo birds lay their eggs in the nest of the other host birds. So it may be um, a crow, it may be other birds like this. Okay, and the first fundamental motivations for developing a new optimization algorithm is cuckoo egg laying and breeding. So this is the things which has uh, Um, motivated us to go for this Cuckoo Search algorithm. First, we understand what is the principle. It happens. Then we apply this thing to solving various problems. If the host bird recognizes the egg uh, that is not being their own egg, then it will be either throw the eggs away from the nest or simply empty the nest and build a new nest. So both the cases, the cuckoo bird cannot be uh, breeded. Fine. then we go for the cuckoo uh, cuckoo search optimization algorithm here we go for a search scheme see what are the principle it acts here is egg in a nest represents solution so you can see a small cuckoo is sitting here it is just a small bird it is given here so you see the host bird egg is represented with the white color and cuckoo bird egg is represented as the a uh, little yellow color okay so i say the host bird's nest this is the nest you can see it here the on the leaf and branches of a tree so this is the nest and host bird's egg is represented by this white color egg and the cuckoo egg is represented as the uh, 
yellow color uh, okay okay cocoa bud is not uh, actually blue or green so you know it is pale black but anyway so it is just a graphical representation don't go on the um, diagrams right so this cocoa egg represents a new and good option the answer obtained is a new option based on the existing one with some characteristics modified now uh, in its most basic form each nest has one cocoa egg and each nest with multiple eggs represent a set of options and this cuckoo search has idealized this breeding behavior okay fine then we move to uh, what are the various characteristics of the cuckoo search algorithm to begin each cuckoo can only so each cuckoo can only lay one egg at a time try to understand one cuckoo can lay one egg at a time not more then deposit it in a randomly selected nest so he has to select a host nest because he cannot make a host and he has no time to breed that one right secondly the best nests with the high quality eggs will be passed down to future generations that means what are the best egg of this cuckoo they will be uh, proceeded for the or they will be passed down to the future generations thirdly the number of available host nests is also fixed so you can see a diagram here uh if you see here uh here is uh, the uh, the um, the cuckoo uh, start searching here he finds say five number of uh, uh, eggs are there mm, so it is it is not uh, suitable because uh, when five number birds are five number of eggs are there laying another egg the relation here he finds something like that here he finds something like that like that so cuckoo he finds so this is the represent the cuckoo and this is the egg so finally he searches here and they go for the levy flight and finds here um, the there are two eggs are available uh, in this uh, nest and the cuckoo so like that it go on searching fine so then what we do yeah we just uh, go to the big sir. okay then yeah we go for the flow chart in the flow chart you can clearly see just to start initialize population of uh, n host okay population of n and host is xi right then get cuckoo with x randomly to levy flight i then evaluate the fitness of fi okay so levy flight uh, then fi the fitness function select a nest among n randomly j then if f of i what is the f f is the fitness function of i is less than equal to j then what so replace j by a new solution okay so if f of i not less than equal then let i is a solution okay that means the i what you are selecting if the fitness function is greater than fj then only you are selecting if it is less than we are saying so it replace j by another new solution okay so abandon the fraction p so it be the probability of one rest and build uh, keep the current best so now this is the thing stop condition satisfied find the best objective functions or the best nest so and the solution so this we can uh, pause the video you can clearly see the chart is clearly explained so two things i told you the uh, population is initialized that is the n and the uh, host nest is initialized as xi and the objective function or the fitness function say ffi uh, so that is calculated so for the two uh, two number of uh, two number of nest or two number of uh, uh, nest for laying x so they are compared ffi less than equal to fj or greater than based on that decision is taken right then <coughs> Uh, coming to the uh, basic steps of this uh, cuckoo search algorithm uh, you see the algorithm uh, we know generate the initial populations of n number of host okay what are they uh, xi x1 x2 up to xn okay so these are the initializations of populations so these are the nest then i calculate the objective function of fx for the same and uh, this is calculated here like this and then and t the iteration if t less than is the mx is the maximum number of iteration while t less than maximum iteration do get a cuckoo randomly by levy flight so levy flight i will explain what is the levy flight so it may be small step or large step based on the search space evaluates its equal to the fitness function f of i uh, choose the nest among n say j j so out of n i select only j randomly so if f of i greater than f j then replace j by the new solution so replace j by i okay and if a fraction pa the host nest abandoned and new ones are built okay the probability uh, uh, pa okay so if 
the nest if the nest is not suitable then it is abandoned it is rejected uh, or or if it is suitable then it is built so keep the best solutions uh, rank the solutions and find the current best um, and uh, uh, then end it and uh, then you go for the uh, post process results and visualization so this is the uh, general algorithm uh, now uh, let us have a idea about what is this levy flight so cuckoo in a limited area it takes small step for searching the or the entire uh, search space but if it is not there then it makes a uh, shifted to another area uh, by a long jump so then long jump means cuckoo and jump it will be flying so searching in the area with smaller steps suppose it is not suitable here then uh, shifted to another area by long jump so this is called that means within the area with small step size it searches so this is the thing it is a random uh, flight or work the steps are defined in terms of step lengths that have a certain probability distribution with random directions this type of flight is observed in different animals and insects uh, so these are the uh, things we call the uh, levis flight okay then coming to the fitness calculation calculation of fitness is achieved by using the fitness function or uh, here the previously we are calling the objective function we are calling the fitness function to find the best solution so next is chosen randomly so we select a number of rest i have already shown you the uh, things it is uh, selecting some nest with 5 5x 4x like that the fitness of this cuckoo egg that is new solution is then compared of that of the host egg solutions in the nest if the value of the cuckoo egg fitness function is less than the equal to the value of the randomly chosen nest fitness function the randomly chosen nest replaced by new one so that means the fitness function of this cuckoo egg must be greater than the existing host egg then only you have to select it otherwise you have to uh, abandon and go for the new one then termination uh, the fitness functions compares the solutions in the current iteration and only the best solution is passed further and if the number of iterations is less than the maximum then the best nest is retained uh, if once exceeds then we stop the there and all cuckoo birds are uh, ready for their next actions after completing the initialization levy flight and fitness calculation process the cuckoo search algorithm will be terminated once the maximum number of iteration has been reached so these steps are applicable um, to any optimization problems in such cases each cuckoo egg and cuckoo nests play the important role okay this is the idea then if you generalize or summarize the cuckoo cuckoo search algorithm first we go for the initializations cuckoo birds prefer to lay their eggs in the nest of other birds or the host birds then we go for the levy flight it is a random flight or work i already explained you then the fitness calculations calculation of the fitness is achieved by using the fitness functions to find the best solutions then once the uh, conditions number of iterations achieved then you go for the termination condition so this is the thing now while we are going for the uh, detailed explanation we see the applications of the cuckoo search algorithm cuckoo search uh, algorithm can be applied to wide range of optimization problems so this optimization algorithm it improves the efficiency accuracy and convergence rate that is the things already i explained what is the convergence now the cuckoo search algorithm has been used to optimize solutions in cloud computing you see the different main area main domain cloud computing data mining software testing uh, iot internet of thing and pattern recognition because there is a only one parameter pa and this algorithm is very simple to implement that is the reason why we go for these things in addition to that we are having a lot of other applications like scheduling planning forecasting image processing engineering optimization pattern recognition software testing data mining cyber security cloud computing iot so let us uh, discuss one or two in details so i am going for the feature selections using the cuckoo search algorithms now uh, these are the things we very often use in data mining and other places uh, even in the machine learning related things so data elements are known as the features we know for example in a database we say Mm, the different attributes are the features this with the data elements the data elements are known as the features variables or the attributes whatever we say this feature selection is a data pre-processing method used in classification and it is used to remove unnecessary and duplicated attributes from this data set because what is important to us relevant to us that we keep other things we ignore at this moment right and accuracy is increased and training time is drastically reduced also and the main goal is to minimize the number of characteristics while improving the classification performance that means uh, some of the features which are very important we are not neglecting but what are the features are not that much of importance we can ignore right 
So the binary vector is used to solve this problem, uh, while the features to select are not in the specific problem. In this case, zero indicates not, and one indicates yes, or it is selected. Now, uh, other thing is the Kuko search algorithms for antenna array design. So this is the electronics people they usually go for antenna design. A canonical antenna array is useful in satellite communications and also submarine communications and point to point communications this kuko search algorithm can be used to reduce the antenna array parameters or the elements such as the relevant current phase of elements and uh, interspacing elements and the main goal is to suppress the side lobes and uh, null control in specific directions of random patterns so these are the things then these are the some of the reference we can see mm, you can follow also and thank you and if any queries and everything you can be free to mail me in the head rnd dot bbc at the bbc dot in thank you for watching this video if you do like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to uh, subscribe this also uh, have a good day thank you